everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Zaneva and this is my first ever vlog. today's video, I'm gonna share to you yung unang hinanap ko noon sa YouTube at yun ay how to control oily skin. So, if you're interested to know kung ano yung mga limang simpleng tips ko, just keep on watching. Tip number one, cleanse your face. So, make it a habit to regularly wash your face. In my case, I wash my face morning and evening. And if ever, put some makeup on. I'll make sure na I'll remove it with a micellar water just to make sure talaga na dirt-free and oil-free yung face ko bago ako matulog. But, do not overwash your face. Kasi nga, magda-dry yung skin and tendency, you're gonna produce more oil. At yun ang no-no talaga sa atin. So, in cleansing, kailangan talaga natin humanap ng cleanser na aakma sa skin type natin, which is oily skin. So that I consider three things in buying products. First is yung packaging. If na caught me attention ko, if feeling ko maganda siya, bibilhin ko siya. Second is I only choose those trusted brands and binibili ko talaga siya sa mga drugstores and department stores. And the third one is if the quality and the quantity deserves or suits its price kasi nga mga bench, hindi po tayo mayaman. So, kailangan ko talaga i-consider yung presyo niya. Akma talaga sa quality at quantity niya. But that was before. Now, I see to it na before ko bibilhin yung products, tinitingnan ko yung ingredients niya. Kung ano yung meron sa product na yun. Kasi nga, may mga ingredients na hindi talaga pwede sa mga oily skin. So, I see to it that merong salicylic acid at glycolic acid yung binibili kong mga products. So, it is important to know your products before using it. Tip number two. I must say, guilty ako sa, sa tip na ito. Kasi nga, we have this wrong assumption na pag oily skin ka, hindi mo kailangan ng moisturizer. But it is a no-no talaga. Mas kailangan ng mga oily skin na katulad natin, ng moisturizer to make sure na hindi yung masistress yung skin natin to produce white oil. Kasi nga, if well moisturized yung skin natin, hindi na kailangan mag-produce ng oil yung skin natin. Kasi nga, it's okay na yung, ano, yung sitwasyon niya. So, it is a must na gumamit ng moisturizer. So, in my case, I use lightweight and non-greasy ones. Kasi nga, ayoko nang mas masyadong malikit, ayoko nang mabigat. Kasi, may irritate lang ako along the way using that kind of moisturizer. But then again, I consider the ingredients I'm using. So, it must contain glycerin and hyaluronic acid para maging, para maging sure ka na okay yung oil production mo. These, these two ingredients will lessen the oil production of yours. Tip number three. Use sunscreen. So, it is a must na gumamit tayo ng sunscreen considering napaka-init sa Pinas. So, kahit nasa loob tayo ng bahay, we need to use sunscreen talaga dahil papasok at papasok yung init ng araw sa ating mga tahanan. So, ako talaga personally, after bath, nagtutone ako, nagmo-moisturize, then sunscreen, then I'm off to go. I'm good with it. So, kasi nga, yung mangyayari doon, if hindi tayo magsa-sunscreen, magda-dry yung skin natin. And, ang, ten ang tendency nun, masistress na naman yung skin natin at mag-produce naman yung more and more oil. So, yun yung isang bagay na kailangan nating i-prevent is the oil production. So, it is a must to use sunscreen. Wala kong SPF preferences. I only use those with broad spectrum. Dahil mas broad yung coverage nun. So, Kahit anong sunscreen na gamitin mo, as long as it is lightweight, non-greasy, in my own preferences, it's good for me. Tip number four. Eat right. Eat healthy foods. So, sabi nga nila, what you eat is what you are. So, I make sure na yung kinakain ko ay mga healthy foods. Mga foods na merong anti-inflammatory omega-rich 3 
food like nuts, am some almond, fresh fruits and vegetables. So personally, hindi talaga ako mahilig sa prutas at vegetable noon. But after knowing the factors, the benefits that you will get after eating healthy foods, I must say, pinipilit ka talaga kumain ng gulay and fruit. Kasi nga, it will help you cleanse and detoxify you internally. And if okay, malinis, if healthy yung internal mo, sigurado, you will look really good externally. So, it is a must to you eat foods that are healthy. So, if gusto nyo rin pong malaman yung complete list ng mga, mga pagkain na okay na okay sa mga oily skin, I'm gonna type the link below at the description box. Meron akong short clip, I think 1 to 2 minutes, na sinshare ko yung mga mga pagkain na mga yummy and delicious yummy, delicious and healthy foods na okay na okay sa atin yung mga oily skin. Yay! I'm on my last tip. So, okay. Andito na tayo sa last tip. Ito yung pinakamura, pinaka-accessible pinaka na tip to stay hydrated. Drink a lot of water. Considering our body is made up of up to 60 to 70% of water, so it is a must na minuto tayo ng tubig. Because drinking a lot of fluids in our body will tend to lessen the oil production. Yun yung pinaka-goal natin, yung oil production talaga. So, if yung katawan natin is hydrated, kumaga enough yung water na din iniinom natin, it will good, it will have a good result. So, ako personally, meron din ako mga tamad days na nakakalimutan ko uminom ng tubig. But I see to it that Right after ako gumising, iinom ako ng tubig kasi nga alam kong hindi man sabihin ng katawan ko pero alam kong uh, dehydrated yung katawan ko right after ako gumising. Then, 10 to 15 minutes I make sure na uminom ako ulit ng tubig for a healthy and glowing skin. Then, it is also a must na uminom ng tubig kasi nga napakinit sa Pinas and we sweat a lot, we perspire a lot so it is important to replenish the water na nawala during the day, so, yun. So, uminom tayo ng tubig, and our body will thank us for the research. And, okay, let's do a quick recap sa mga sinabi ko kanina. So, first and foremost is to cleanse your face. Wash it with a cleanser na merong salicylic acid at glycolic acid. Please do not overwash it. Kasi ang tendency, magpuprodus tayo ng more oil. Second is to use moisturizer itapon na po natin, ibasura po natin, ibauno po natin. Yung wrong assumption na pag oily skin ka, hindi mo kailangan ng moisturizer kasi mga besh, mas kailangan natin ng moisturizer once we have oily skin. Third is to use sunscreen. Yes, ito yung mga minsan pinaka nililiglek or parang okay, hindi ka nakikailangan. We need to use sunscreen mga besh. It will not only help us in, ha in having uh, oily skin but also to give us a younger skin. Kasi sun can really damage our skin along the way. Mas mabilis time tumanda pag yung sun na yung nag-heat sa atin. Oh my God, loading ako. Okay, yun. So, use sunscreen. Um, the fourth one is eat right. Eat healthy foods, mga besh. Kahit medyo boring yung, yung lasa ng gulay, ng prutas. Please, 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 please. Kumain tayo ng Prutas at gulay. Considering we have, we are now in a pandemic case, so mas kailangan natin boost yung immune system natin. So it is a must to eat um, foods with anti-inflammatory omega-3 rich foods. As as, as I've said, mayroon akong short clip na kung baka nakalist lahat lahat ng mga foods na napakasarap at the same time very healthy. So yeah. And the last one, yung pinakamura at pinakasasable. At please lang, huwag natin kalimutan na uminom ng tubig. So, yun na. Yun yung 5 simple tips. Sana nga nakatulong yung mga tips na yon At sana makatulong sa inyo in order to have a combination to normal skin. So, no more blotting papers. Ako, personally, dati, nakakupos talaga ako ng a lot of blotting papers a month. At ang gastos nun, hindi ako mayaman. But I need a blotting paper to stay fresh looking so now goodbye blotting paper so sana nga 
kayo rin. If it works to me, sana, sana, sana mag-work din sa inyo. And if you like this video, please, 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 please hit that like button. And if hindi pa po kayo nakakapag-subscribe, I would appreciate if mag-subscribe po kayo sa channel ko. And comment down below kung ano yung mga gusto nyo pang videos na gagawin ko. So without further ado, I'm gonna end this and I'm signing off. Bye-bye!